What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and tonight we're going to be talking about all multiplayer maps that we know of so far for Black Ops 6, early gameplay previews, plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and as a quick reminder, there are brand new Deadshot Daiquiri Collectors Control Freaks that just became available and I'll have linked down below. Now you can save 10% off any order with Control Freak when you use code DYNAMITE, but these are honestly a must have for any hardcore zombies fan. I mean, yeah, there's a literal Deadshot can in the collector's box and the thumbsticks are within the can itself. There's also going to be a code there for an in-game Deadshot Daiquiri charm. But with that, we also have plenty of brand new article coverage going up on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. Got you covered with Modern Warfare 3 as Season 5 marketing is about to begin. And of course, got you covered with Black Ops 6. Now, as a recap for BO6 multiplayer, it was confirmed by Treyarch during the Xbox Showcase event that we're going to be seeing 16 new multiplayer maps day one. 12 of those will be for 6v6 and 4 of them will be for a strike experience. Now, strike maps are going to support, I believe, 2v2 and 6v6, so essentially maps that could support gunfight if that mode returns, and also face-off, which is very fast-paced action, as we also saw over in Cold War multiplayer. Now, as of right now, some map names are known, whereas some others aren't. I believe we know of at least about 11 out of 16 maps that we're going to go over here in this video. Now, this list does not include any potential remasters or remakes that could make their way into the game during the preseason window or even in Season 1, but we do know is that apart from Nuketown, at least from what I believe, we aren't going to be seeing any remakes on day one, which is October 25th. But I love the fact that the amount of maps we're getting day one is on par with games like Vanguard and Modern Warfare 3, which I believe launched with about 16 to 20. So I'm glad that Black Ops 6 is in that ballpark since Cold War, unfortunately, didn't launch with too many 6v6 maps when that game first released, but that problem was quickly solved right away with the live seasons. Now, starting off with this specific space that we got to see in the Black Ops 6 Direct, this appears to have a player in a event somewhere. It's unknown if this is for a multiplayer map or is this footage from campaign. Now, I am aware that some campaign missions that feature open combat like mechanics will give you access to a mini map, so maybe that's what this is from. There's been speculation that this could be a event within the casino mission. So if that's the case, is this a multiplayer map based on the casino area or is it just footage from the campaign? That's a bit unknown right now, but either way, it was cool that we got to see a little bit of gameplay of that casino in various parts of the Direct. We actually had a casino multiplayer map in Black Ops 4, so I'm hoping that we get a version much better than that here within Black Ops 6. But apart from that vent space, which again could be for either 6v6 or even, hell, Strike 2v2, we then have a map called Scud. Now this map actually, I believe, was data mined as an experience called Radar, but this is the actual name of the map here. It's a pretty small-ish map. Quite a bit of footage was shared of this experience. You could see various trenches, bunkers, and a lot of comparisons were made to Point to Hawk from World War II 2017, or even Numa Numa from Vanguard. It's gonna be a very interesting map that the Black Ops series really hasn't had before, at least over in multiplayer. Now I want to give a shout out to Phantom Ice over on Twitter who went ahead and put together a really good thread of just a breakdown of every map that we got to see during the direct and pointed out some cool things that you may have missed. It'll be linked down below. Make sure to subscribe to him and follow him over on Twitter. So this map should be pretty damn cool. There's a big satellite towards the middle of the map as well, I believe. But next up we have what is being referred to as the Mansion map. I believe the official name for this map is Skyline. So over over at the Treyarch event a couple of weeks ago, they actually did give us a presentation in their theater room, and I believe we got a recap of every single multiplayer map coming to BO6. I think the names of the maps were shown far too quickly, though, so I don't think anybody out there in the community really got all the names written down, but we at least know of some of the maps from what we got to see in the Direct. This is kind of a small, rectangular type of experience. I think people have compared it to Hotel Royal from Vanguard, or hell, Hacienda from BO4, Raid from BO2. Pretty close quarters-like experience. There's a shot in the direct of, I believe, a cruise missile being called in. So you get a nice overview of the entire wealthy mansion here that's going to be the 6v6 map. The map looks pretty gorgeous. There's a pool in the middle. It's going to play how you'd probably expect based on the gameplay that we got to see. But yeah, lots of opportunity for close quarters action. There are some areas and lines of sights that will probably be covering domination flags, hard points. This should be a pretty cool map, at least aesthetically. But we next have a map that I believe is called Rewind. Now, Rewind is going to be based out of the same town in West Virginia that Liberty Falls is also based based off of, and Liberty Falls is, of course, one of the two round-based maps we're going to get day one. So before anybody says, oh my god, reuse assets for zombies again, who's to say that maybe Liberty Falls was in zombies first, then that area got turned into an MP map? It's unclear if this area is also in campaign. I'm sure it probably is, but this is a pretty cool map, and I think the theme of it is fairly unique, right? It's a parking lot of a mini mall, but you can actually go into some of the different shops. I think it's going to be one of the better maps of Black Ops 6. It'll probably end up being pretty memorable by the time that the game's life cycle does 
and that's just my prediction as of right now based on the footage that we were able to see but I also want to go into some of the remasters real quickly a little bit of info on that is available so as I covered in a video several weeks ago Nuketown I believe is going to be a strike map day one now during the Treyarch presentation they actually showed us what looked like a redacted map but in the background of the redacted map we were able to see a glimpse of what appeared to be a greenhouse and maybe even a pinch of a yellow house so it looks like a sandstorm kind of swept all over that environment so the new version of Nuketown should be a bit like a sand dune so it should be pretty unique and fairly different from previous Nuketown iterations the fact they mentioned it was a strike map though has me thinking that it won't just be available in like this face-off type experience you'll still be able to play classic 6v6 on it with the ability to use kill streaks because if you remember from Cold War you weren't able to use kill streaks in any face-off experience now I have talked a bit about firing range and grind in the past because a leaked list of Black Ops 6 multiplayer maps did pop up on Twitter as of last year and on that list you could see firing range grind and some other code names for various MP spaces that's of course what is now an out-of-date list does not account for all the multiplayer maps and might not even be for these specific launch maps that we're going to see but if firing range and grind get added during the launch window that'll be a nice surprise however I doubt they're gonna do any remasters until some of the live seasons do begin now we also got footage of what appeared to be a daytime desert like map and it is rumored to be the map that was leaked out to be called pillage it takes place near the palace of Saddam Hussein there is a campaign section also set during the sunset and could be in the same environment I really wouldn't mind that similar to diesel from Cold War where you have an area that's taking place completely at night in the campaign but in multiplayer it takes place during the daytime so it gives you a whole different vibe and just different scenery depending on the time of day really wouldn't mind that right if you have the same area from campaign and also an MP but they change the weather or something it still plays as a unique experience that really isn't available in any other game mode but I'm sure a full list of multiplayer map names is going to be posted in a blog post or something before the COD next event or maybe even shortly before the beta but we next up have what I believe is a map called ruins it may take place in the ancient city of Babylon located in Iraq and you could see a bunch of open lines of sight and a maze like design for the multiplayer map itself it looks pretty damn good there were several shots kind of scattered throughout the direct of various multiplayer maps a lot of shots were kind of of the same maps but if you look close enough there are quite a few gameplay previews of some maps that you guys may have actually missed once you actually finish watching the direct now Treyarch did confirm that most of the maps will be small to medium size it's unclear if there will be any very large maps maybe a handful by the time the game releases and maybe those are the maps that we just don't have gameplay previews of just yet but I can't tell what area this map is a part of there seems to be like an outdoor marketplace and some very interesting scenery that could be a part of the map that I just showed you near what could be the ancient city of Babylon or this is a different environment entirely I don't believe this is a part of the next map we're also going to go into called derelict which is in that train yard this could be another map entirely that really hasn't been broken down by the community yet we're not sure what the name of this space could be or maybe it's a part of one of the maps that I already went over in this video if I've missed something feel free to comment down below so much gameplay was shown that you would think we would know what multiplayer map this is but right now I'm just predicting this could be an area of Avalon that's going to end up getting reused in regular multiplayer that's just my bet as of now but I'll put as many shots as I can on screen but next up I have a map called derelict now this map takes place in an overgrown rail line type environment there's train carts everywhere and it's probably going to be a good map for sniping based on the footage that was revealed online I think they also did a good job really previewing the omnidirectional movement in most of these maps that we've talked about thus far this map is probably going to be a bit of a campier one just based on what I could see right now but again who knows how these maps are exactly going to play once the beta rolls around in the next couple of weeks but we then have what I believe is a map that takes place in Vorkuta now keep in mind some of the footage that was shown may just be of the campaign but that might have also threw us off considering you could see a mini map considering that you could see what looks like a multiplayer like HUD but again we'll have to wait and see what exactly this is from we know Vorkuta for sure is in the campaign but I highly doubt they're just going to skip out on Vorkuta for a multiplayer space this is an area that I wanted to revisit for quite some time I think at least in the last decade this has been an environment that I wanted them to really touch on again whether it's in campaign or multiplayer and we're likely going to be seeing them revisit the space in both campaign and MP once this game rolls around but there was also footage shown of what appears to be an underground pit which also reminds me of the Vorkuta tunnels now I believe this map is actually called pit but is a strike map so we may be getting a fully open 6v6 Vorkuta map and then a map that takes place underground which is just going to be for 2v2 strike or even face off 6v6 as you guys can see on screen but with the possibility of two Vorkuta maps day one it really wouldn't surprise me if throughout the duration of six seasons they also take certain elements of maps already in the game and convert them into 2v2 strike 
Strike maps, kind of similar to the Pines and the map that we got for Gunfight, which I'll put on screen as you guys will see. That map got added way after Pines did for 6v6. But I'm totally curious if we're going to end up seeing any big map type of modes like Fire Team, Combined Arms, some type of Ground War Black Ops experience. Really curious to see what they're going to end up doing with that. I think Fire Team was phenomenal back in Black Ops Cold War. I absolutely loved the mode, was much more addicted to that one than Combined Arms, but people had mixed feelings about both. I'm sure if Trick does have the time, they'll end up pulling spaces from maybe Avalon, which is rumored to be a big space you see in campaign. Could even be a Battle Royale map for Warzone at some point, but there's even that Area 99 Resurgence map. Would not be shocked if they end up pulling points of interest or even the entire layout of one of those maps and putting that into a big space fire team combined arms like mode. Lots to look forward to when it comes to that front. As of right now, we only know about 6v6 and even 2v2. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all the Black Ops 6 multiplayer maps we know of so far? How are you feeling about all the gameplay previews? And how many maps do you think are going to be added to the beta once that rolls around in late August? It'll likely only be a good like four to five maps to choose from during the beta, but let me know which maps you think are going to make the final cut. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.